so what you're hearing is the Ibanez IMG 2010 um, vintage Roland compatible guitar synth controller with a Roland VG99. And in between the IMG 2010 and the VG99 is the CV13. The CV13 converts the 24 pin signals from the Ibanez IMG 2010 to the 13 pin format that the uh, Roland VG99 can use. And it also gives me access through the Roland FC300 to these additional controls on the guitar. And that's really great because you can do so much with the Roland VG99. We've got dual guitar modeling pass, uh, model of the uh, Roland uh, Vintage GR300. And by using this combination, you can take advantage of all the great controls that we have on the Ibanez IMG 2010 or, or any vintage Roland guitar synth controller. So the way this uh, I programmed everything is to make the uh, large volume knob on the IMG 2010 to be the master volume control. And then we have electric guitar volume and acoustic guitar volume. So we'll turn the electric guitar volume down and we have the virtual acoustic. And the modulation knob adds in just a, just a hair of, cor of uh, flanging. Turn down the uh, acoustic, go to the electric. And similarly, I programmed the modulation knob to add some chorusing to the electric sound. we have the virtual whammy bar set up. It's set up to do an octave down. And of course we're only sending a pitch bend controller signal, not actually bending the strings. So you can do this all day long and it does not affect the tuning of the guitar. And I did something a little bit differently with the electric guitar volume. This is this volume knob actually represents the the uh, the volume knob on your guitar. And you know when you you've got a high gain setting and you turn the volume down, it tends to make the uh, you lose some high end and you lose some level. But uh, this has been programmed to add a little bit of treble back in and to make things just a little bit louder as you turn the volume knob down, and we'll go into that later. Uh, this is the actual pickup switch on the IMG 2010, and this is a virtual pickup switch. So uh, we have the virtual pickup switch in the middle position. If we flip it down, then we get the uh, virtual bridge pickup. And if we flip it up, we get the virtual neck pickup. So it's just like having a regular guitar with volume controls, we've got control over the effects, a whammy bar, and a virtual pickup switch. 